Hello and welcome to the CanDo Equine online training system. I'm just going to show you around a little bit so you can get a good idea of how to navigate your way through the training. So if you come first of all to your library after you've logged in you'll see all the courses that you've got here. Today we're going to look at the online training course, the horse training, so we're going to view course. Now basically you can work through these lessons as they appear in the training. So my suggestion would be to start with the engagement zone lessons. You simply click on the one that you want and that will take you through to the individual lessons. And as you can see here, you work through on this first page, there's five lessons, go through to the next page and there's one more lesson. So there's Oh, sorry, two more lessons, so there's seven in total. So if we go back to the previous page, with each one that you click on, there's going to be a different video in there, so you'll be able to watch that. This one is all about have I got pressure, and there'll be a download with that as well, a PDF. So let's go back to the courses. I then go to give to the bit. Now this, a lot of people look at the give to the bit work and they see the horse traveling in frame and they say, oh, I don't need that because I don't want to do dressage and I don't need that. But give to the bit is actually about teaching your horse how to learn and it's about getting your horse to relax. The first thing we need before we can really take our training anywhere is for the horse to relax. And this is the lessons here that you're going to learn that in. So if you come to give to the bits, click on the course and you'll find with each of the six foundation training lessons there's a full length DVD here first of all. First thing to watch is this one hour DVD. Again that comes with a printable downloadable lesson plan. So the thing to do is to watch that before you go on and look at the other lessons. These are all new material using different horses, a number of different horses, and they'll walk you through all the various aspects of teaching this particular lesson, which is give to the bit. And you can see here that uh, there's nine lessons there, and there's another page here, which takes you through to a summary and um, a discussion about various bits. So if we go back, so give to the bit is your, your second lesson after you've worked out um, how to get your horse into the engagement zone. We then move on to shoulder control. Again, these all of these lessons right up until we get to the next page can all be done from the ground. A lot of the lessons you'll find have ground and ridden work, such as the shoulder control. You can see this particular one here. When we go into shoulder control, there's a, there's a full length training DVD to start off with. And then there's a number of lessons that go on showing you how to teach shoulder control from the ground and then on board as well when you're riding. So a number of them can be taught simply from the ground. So if your horse isn't yet under saddle, that's absolutely fine because you can teach the shoulder control from the ground, the first saddling, long reining, habituation to novel objects. That's, you know, getting the horse relaxed and comfortable with things that might seem at first scary. The round pen, the trailer loading, there's especially a lot of lessons here for the young horse as well. And again, you know, this of course is an unstarted horse. We've got, we talk about haltering and getting the horse used to the rope, picking up feet, bridling, tying up is always an important thing. So this isn't necessarily just for a young horse. If you've got an older horse that isn't good at tying up or perhaps pulls back, there's a special lesson in there for that. Washing your horse, leading, and trailer loading the young horse. So that's just the first page of courses on the um, training. If we go to the next page, we've got some more sort of specialized things here. We look in depth at teaching stops and stop and back up. I've got a special 
course on canter for you. A lot of people have trouble with the canter and that's why I've put it into a special course all of its own. We've got how to pick up leads, what happens if your horse bucks or kicks out, falling in and out of gait. So you know the horse that drops back to trot after you get a few nice strides and then the horse that rushes into canter. All of those things are covered in that course there. We're going to skip back again. I've got a special section as well for the off-the-track horses. I know a lot of you have off-the-track horses. This really is specialising in the thoroughbred, but it's equally relevant to the standard bred or trotter as well. Um, and it discusses things from a slightly different angle because your off-the-track horse hasn't got the same history as your unstarted horse or horses changing riding disciplines. And so we need to uh, be a little bit more careful about how we teach things. And then if we go back again to the courses, um, there's some working equitation. If you're interested in working equitation, I'll talk you through all of the different obstacles there and how to write the patterns. And under links and resources, I have some checklists here, so you can just print off the checklist PDF. As you work through any of the lessons, you can check off how your horse is going with that lesson. I've got an expert farrier here talking to you about the barefoot horse and boots. And for those of you interested in science, I've got a whole horse dissection, um, which is actually taking a six hour dissection down to 55 minutes long and I've taken out all the interesting bits, not for the faint-hearted or the queasy. So I hope to see you sometime soon in the Kandu Equine Training. Bye for now.